Halo, halo. हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग सर सर तुम्हारा माइक ऑफ है
Good morning, everyone. Our speakers will join in soon. Please wait for some time.
Silence, just check. Maybe the speaker has joined. Bagesh, sir. Good morning, everyone. I'm Srishti Nikam, and I will be your host for today. I would like to welcome you all to the short term training program on recent trends in mechanical engineering 2021, day two. Let us begin with the session. I would like to introduce our speaker, Mr. Bhagesh Kasle, sir. He's the technical head of mechanical department. Good afternoon, everybody. Am I audible? Yes, sir. And should we start? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, friends. Uh, I'm Vivek Patela from uh, CAT Center Thani. And it's a pleasure to be with all of you all. I would like to thank the management of uh, Datamege College, especially the mechanical department for uh, giving us the opportunity to, to be with you all. As you all must be knowing that uh, we have a very long association with Datamege College. And uh, we have uh, been conducting various uh, programs in the college, seminars before the lockdown period. We were always there in the college doing the seminars and trying to give the students as much as information about what is happening in the mechanical industry, what is in demand in the mechanical industry. And uh, I understand uh, most of you are from uh, final year and third year. Can you please uh, type in the chat box? Uh, which year students we have? Okay, I can see team. Okay. Fine. So, my friends, uh, over a period of uh, two sessions, that is today and tomorrow, uh, we would be trying to make you aware about the emerging trends in the mechanical industry, what are the various career opportunities. Uh, whenever I have been in, uh, you know, most of the colleges, wherever I go for webinars and seminars, uh, whenever we ask this question to the student that, uh, what have you all thought for your career? So, unfortunately, uh, I would get, you know, about 10% of the students would say that, okay, I have got a clear vision of my career or I've got a career path set. And, you know, 20% would say, ha, thoda socha hai, but abhi pura decide nahi kiya hai. And surprisingly, the major chunk of students, 70% would be, ke, you know, uh, abhi tak hum still soch rahe hai, or, Rather, to put it very bluntly, 70% uh, of them would be blank. And uh, it is always very surprising uh, to see that uh, kind of thing. 
but on our part cat center we try to uh, always give you an update on what is happening in the industry and today's modern trend or today what a mechanical engineer is thinking apart from the regular uh, you know uh, product design and analysis things today mechanical engineers are thinking about robotics mechanical engineers are thinking about iot they are thinking about python the opportunities in electrical vehicle technologies the opportunities in industrial design so apart from the regular programs uh, there is a lot for a mechanical engineer to look up to and what are the career opportunities in the what are the salary structures in all these things and how you should decide your career path all these things will come up in our two day sessions for you all and of course uh, under the mou uh, with the college we will work out a uh, very nice program for you all and very special prizes for you all we'll come to that at a bit later on first we need you to understand that what is in demand for a mechanical engineer and whether it is your choice as a career or not so to give you more idea about what are the options for a mechanical engineer i will hand it over to my technical expertise uh, gentleman mr bagesh will take you through a practical session of uh, some of the softwares okay स्टार्टिंग विद माय इंट्रोडक्शन माय सेल्फ आर्टिस्ट कास्ले आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय मास्टर्स इन मशीन डिजाइन फ्रॉम मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी इन 2017 आई हैव अ वर्क एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ टोटल 9 इयर्स आउट ऑफ दैट 5 इयर्स आई वाज वर्किंग एज अ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिफरेंट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेजेस फ्रॉम द मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी आल्सो फ्रॉम लास्ट 9 इयर्स आई हैव बीन वर्किंग विद डिफरेंट इंडस्ट्रीज आई हैव बीन वर्किंग एज अ फ्रीलांसर Okay, so I am associated with the so many industries uh, from the plant designing, okay, uh, as well as in the analysis field. So we are active in all the fields. So <clears throat> also I am associated with the uh, uh, different universities as a guest lecturer. Uh, recently, I was uh, uh, I was associated with the University of Wolverhampton, UK, uh, as a assistant. I mean, as a uh, guest lecturer over there. Right? so uh, as the sir discussed earlier that uh, throughout this session we will be discussing uh, i mean we will be having a demonstration of two softwares which are related uh, for a mechanical engineer in two perspectives okay but before that i'll just give you some uh, plot about it like what what is the necessity and all that so as uh, the as the sir discussed earlier that uh, whenever we are asking to our student that what is the career path okay so at that time okay so at that time uh, most of the students they are giving me the answer that they are not decided yet uh, most probably uh, we get a answer from the student that uh, we want to do a career in the design field okay now let me tell you that the design field is very vast okay so i'll be talking about the two fields generally student prefer uh, the career in those two fields out of that the first one which is called as a product design okay now generally when i say the product design now what is the meaning of that product design okay um uh, basically product design is what it is something related to a new idea okay so let's say we'll consider any machineries and all that okay so let's say if there is any engine or some let's say if there is a machine like milling machines and all that so if you want to uh do a designing for that particular 
okay and there are so many uh, products available in that so basically if you are dealing with those product okay this is called as a product design okay now in mumbai if you talk about the mumbai itself so there are so many opportunities for the mechanical engineers okay in the field of the product design because there are so many industries which are uh, in the uh, i mean from the mumbai region those are dealing with the product design okay and the second one which it, it is very important and generally students who are very interested in that field also which is nothing but the automobile industry okay now when you talk about the opportunities okay uh, now what is what is the uh, Uh, i mean what is what is what is the meaning of this automobile industry so basically when we are dealing with anything any vehicle you can consider okay so basically when you consider uh, uh, any four wheeler it is there okay any uh, truck and bus right then even the uh, aero aerospace industry it is there so that also we can include it in the automotive section now when you talk about the opportunities so basically we have a good opportunities for the automotive industries there because there are lots of decent trends which are available okay out of that one of the recent trend is that that is the electric vehicle so most probably in the tomorrow session we will be discussing about that also okay so uh, first we will be focusing on two things in the first half i'll be discussing about the product design what are the software what are the skills that are related and what are the career opportunities so that we will be discussing okay i'll be having a small demonstration for you okay and then we will be dis discussing about rest of the things also so okay so there will be, you can have a good guidance for you for the uh, choosing your career path okay now uh, when we talk about the product design okay so most widely or most commonly used software and that is nothing but the solid works software okay now all of you are uh, most of the, you have known this particular software you have heard about this particular software some of you work with the uh, solid works software but when we are working with this uh, at our project level or something like that so at that time we are just dealing the software at a basic level Okay, so generally we will be talking about the sketching part. We will be talking about the part design. So simple part designs and all that we have already done over there. Okay, then simple assemblies and all that are there. Okay, but now what makes the difference? I mean, whenever you are going, okay, you know you have the skills of the solid works. Okay, when you are going for any interviews at that time, you have that particular skill. Okay. but the major question comes so suppose i am right now i am taking so many interviews okay so at that time generally we ask the questions so what are the what is your experience okay and what are the different qualities you have so now right now if you say that i know a solid work software i know the part design i know the assembly design so that will be fine because there are so many people available which have this ability but what special ability do you have what is the special skills that you are have in the solid works okay so at that time i have a good answer for that okay basic part designing basic assembling that will be a simple thing but if you are going into a dynamic thing where you are doing a animation whenever you are doing a motion analysis so that makes a difference okay now if i ask you okay now all of you are i think from fourth year and third year okay so all of you have studied the ic engine subject okay so when we talk about the ic engine at that time uh, the, your faculty your professor has explained you the working of the uh, four stroke engine okay now they are explaining all the things properly okay but what happened sometimes it will be a little bit difficult for us to visualize the okay so at that time what happened generally your professor right now they are showing you the animation so it will be very helpful for them okay and even it will be very helpful for not for them it will be very helpful for you to understand the things because when we look at the stationary assemblies okay at that time it will be little bit difficult to understand the working okay but when i say it is a animation at that time whatever the working it is there it is there in front of you at that time it will be very easy for you so i have a simple example from that okay i'll just tell you like how to do the motion analysis and that okay and what are the results that we are expecting what are the results that we can figure out from the 
that particular software so that we will be discussing in the first half we'll be discussing about the solidworks motion and in the later on stage we'll be discussing about the automotive okay so there we'll be discussing about the catia catia software it is there so i'm sharing my screen Okay, is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, fine. So uh, this is a simple assembly that I have already created in the SolidWorks. Okay. Now <clears throat> I'm not wasting so much time in making all the assembly. So it's like just bringing all the parts. Okay, then you have to assemble. Okay, one by one because already you have done all these things. I'm not wasting more time in that. Okay. Okay, fine. Just uh, it is loading. Once it is loading, we will be starting. Okay. Now, uh, what is more important? Uh, when we are uh, doing any animations or what we are when we are doing any motion analysis okay now you heard about the concept or you have already studied the concept of the mechanism in the fourth semester in the kinematics of machinery okay that time we have discussed about different types of joints okay now those are those the joints are very important or, or those joint plays a vital role in the motion analysis or what we can say the animation creations and all that okay so here is an example where i'm just showing you like how to do the motion analysis okay what uh, things we can do it in the motion analysis and what different results that we can find out by using the motion analysis and how it is helpful in that particular thing so that we are going to discuss so this is the assembly that i have already created in the uh, SolidWorks, we have designed this particular thing accordingly, okay. And all the components are designed as per the dimensions we got that we can find out over there, okay. Now, there are multiple parts. Now, all of you are very much familiar with this IC engine, so the piston it is there, okay, camshaft it, it is there, okay. All the things connecting rod, okay, all the gears and all that are there, okay. Now, when we are doing an assembly in the solid works, okay, so generally we are going with the simple type of mesh, okay. Generally, the solid works is having three types of mesh, okay. So, there if you go into this mesh, okay, there you can see the standard mating, it is there, okay. So, standard mesh you can find in every software, okay? you consider any of the 3D modeling software like Crackrio is there. CATIA is there, okay, and XCAD is there. So, you consider any of the software, you will find a simple standard mate over there. So, basically, you can see that under the standard, the coincidence or the axis or the face mating it is there. So, parallel matings are there, okay, concentric mate it is there. So, different standard mate it is there. So, basically, if you want to keep the assembly in the stationary condition, there you can consider these types of matings, okay. Now, in our case, okay, so if I show you the generally what is the process that we are following doing the uh, whenever we are doing any motion analysis okay so generally we look at all the part this is this is a general procedure this what we are following so first observe all of your parts okay then second the observe all of your matings so whatever the matings you have used so you just observe that so i'll just show you all the things so it's like well, i will show you the parts i'll show you the mating and then we will be discussing a little bit about the matings okay so you can see that the connecting rod it is there okay so i just click on that so that the part will be highlighted okay then the connecting rod cover it will be there okay then the crankshaft it is there the piston head is there okay the piston pin it is there the camshaft is there okay then the gear is there the second gear is there okay shaft it will be there right and the rocker arm is there two rocker arms we have used the rod and the wall surface inlet is there this is the wall surface inlet okay so this is the inlet wall this is the exhaust wall okay now we'll observe the matings so i'll just go to the mates so different types of mates i have used the coincident mate so generally that is used for the planar matings so or face matings or axis mating it will be there the concentric means if you have a two cylindrical I mean, I mean two cylindrical parts if you have then we use the concentrate type of type of mate. so the, both the cylindrical part both i mean both the axis of uh, 
whatever the parts are there so those are the coincidence okay so those are along a straight line so these uh, mates are there now you can see this is the width mate here it is a width mate and if you scroll down if i scroll down i can see a cam mating over here and the gear mating over here okay now uh, the question will comes in your mind why i have skipped the rest of the mates okay because these are simple mates basically standard matings these are there okay so generally we have used that particular thing but rest of the mates which are very important and generally we are not using in the uh, general things when we are learning at that uh, particular level okay so generally we are learning at this particular thing at the professional level at that time we are discussing about this okay so this width mate is there so this is generally from the advanced mating okay now what is the meaning of this width mate basically so when you uh, have a width mate okay so just imagine there is like uh, one of the object is there right and uh, <clears throat> i want to place another object in between those particular faces okay so if you want to place that middle object okay exactly at the symmetric position from the two faces at that time we use this type of mate called as a width mate okay so i have used the width mate over here then if you scroll down if i scroll down i can see a cam mating over here okay because this opening and closing of wall is very important because in the uh, when we have learned this particular theoretical part at that time we understood that at the first row my inlet wall will be open okay and at the last row that is at the exhaust row this exhaust wall will be open so we have to do the same thing okay i mean when the piston is moving from the tdc to bdc at the first row this inlet wall it should be open okay for that purpose what i have done is i have designed this particular cam over here and i have given a cam mating over here so there will be a opening and closing of wall it will be happen okay and this is the gear mating okay so gear mating is provided between these two gears okay so what is the gear mating so generally gear mating is a combination of two revolute mate this is the revolute or the concentric mate and this is another concentric mate and when i move this particular gear okay with respect to this the second gear will be start rotating based on the ratio the gear ratio it will be there okay already we have studied that particular thing also in the kinematics of machinery also in the machine design okay so the mains it plays a very important role whenever you are you are doing any motion analysis okay so i have already done this motion analysis i mean i have already provided all the mains over here okay now what we will do we will just see uh, whatever the animation so first we will see the animation and at the same time i'll see the different results that i can find out for uh, this particular assembly okay so whenever you are doing any motion analysis so make sure you have started this motion study because there are three tabs the first one is nothing but your model tab where we are dealing with the normal uh, assembly working and all that okay but whenever you are working with the motion analysis at that time i have to go with this motion study okay what i'll do is i'll create one more motion study because uh, right now i have already created the motion study i'll do it separately from the scratch okay mates i am keeping it as it is i am not going to change any bit okay i'll keep it as it is just i am adding the few things so that there will be a animation okay so i'll create the new motion study now why i have started this is the solid works addins okay so this is the addin which is a solid works motion so simply uh, i need to start this particular thing so to generate all the results okay so i have started over here i will resize all the windows so that uh, it will be easier for us observe all the things okay sure now i'll create a new motion study because I, as i said that will be starting from a scratch this is the second motion study okay now you can you can't see anything over here okay now if i want to rotate one gear okay this is the gear which i have to rotate okay now if i want to give a rotation for that so obviously i need to give a motor over here so there is an option called as a motor so 
will provide the motor to this particular gear. Okay, this will be a rotary motor. And suppose RPM, right now I am giving just 60 RPM. Okay, so that is one revolution per second. Okay, so I have given the rotation to this particular thing. Okay. Uh, we'll keep the time duration. So here I'll adjust the time duration. Uh, right now it is for five seconds. So if you want, I can go for five seconds, or we can go for eight seconds. Which so, will be there. And now we will calculate this particular thing. First, we need to initiate the analysis, okay? And then we will uh, calculate all the results. So I'll just go for the motion study over here, and then I'll just calculate all the things. Now this is calculating the total time duration is of 8 seconds, okay. Now you might have seen, I, I mean there will be a question in your mind, uh, this is a very simple thing, I mean I have done nothing over here, I just have, a, I have uh, assigned the motor over here, rotary motor and then the animation or the whatever the motion analysis that, that has been started, okay. But if you uh, observe that. Why it would, uh, why is it very simple? Because I have given an appropriate mates over here. Okay? So that is the reason why it was very simple. Okay. okay. Let me calculate this particular thing. It's calculating now. There are multiple parts involved in that, so that's the reason why this is taking so much time. calculating I should have keep the time in uh, 3 or 4 seconds that would have calculated very fast but that will be ok so with the duration of 8 seconds we can observe that particular animation very well still it is at the 5 seconds because see why we are doing all this particular things because right now the industry need these different skills right because these are very important because you are doing something different okay? now there is a world of competition now there are so much competition in the uh, field of mechanical industries okay? so we have to do something different in that okay so that's the reason why this particular uh, solid on solution and all that this is very important okay? and if i uh, i want to share i mean uh, i will tell you one of the thing okay see now you have to uh, go for a product design i mean you have to go for the new, new uh, different concepts and that you have to develop your new concept okay now whenever i am explaining this particular thing let's say i have some certain idea in my mind okay and now what I have to do is I need to explain it to some manufacturer or some investor over there. Okay, at that time I should be very uh, clear about all the things. I, I should have all the analysis result. Okay, I should have a model ready with this so 3D model. It will be there. Okay, so that should be ready with you. Okay, all the motion analysis you have to do because that is very important. Okay, one. Uh, simple uh, case I'll, I'll be discussing with you okay generally uh, this question comes in the mind that why we are doing the motion analysis okay so one of the answer is there to find out the interference okay now what is the meaning of interference so let's say uh, if there is a uh, you have seen that particular thing in the gear itself right now there is an interference over here okay but in the actual practice uh, the interference is not allowed so the clashing is not allowed over there okay so whenever we are doing any assembling at that time we are focusing on that particular thing that there should not be any interference between the mating parts okay all the dimensions it has to be appropriate there has to be a proper tolerance will be given to this okay so that uh, i mean that particular thing we will be taken care of all that okay but still what happened 
the interference will be arises when the parts are in motion okay suppose if this particular thing if this distance between this piston and this particular wall if it is not calculated properly okay so at the time of motion obviously this is going to hit this particular wall right but whenever i am doing any assembling for a static condition at that time it is not showing me any interference okay so that is the major reason okay why we are going for this particular motion analysis okay so generally i have to show it to all the investors that whatever the 3d model i am having whatever the motion results that i got from whatever the software i have used and whatever the analysis results so that is also a different part which we are discussing in the tomorrow session that is very important okay so this is the reason why we are going for this particular scale over here okay so the calculation is already completed first we will see the animation how it looks okay so i'll be starting the animation So, okay. So this is the animation. Uh, this happens because you know, sometimes it creates a system issues. So the frames are there, you know. So depending on the frames, it will be showing. But you can see that there is a uh, animation uh, now. It is smoothly going. Okay. So whenever you are explain the working of this particular thing, suppose if some investor it is there and you want to explain your working of your system, okay, and your working of your product. At that time, you can show him the animation. See, this is the animation, okay. This is the actual working of my particular product, okay. And then he will be very, uh, I mean, it will be very easy for him to understand. It's like how this working it will be there, okay. Now, if I want to generate few results, okay, like if I want to go for suppose the moment of the piston it is there suppose i want to calculate the linear velocity or the linear acceleration so at that time i can do it easily okay so just i'll show you one of the example uh, how to calculate the linear velocity so i'll go for the motion plot for this particular piston okay now i want to calculate the motion and i mean linear velocity so i'll go for this linear velocity and just i'll go for the magnitude right now actually the direction that is y over here if i want i can go in the y direction so the, the linear direction it is there okay and then i'll just calculate this thing so see this is the linear velocity graph that i got okay So I'll, I have started from the zero when it was at the rest position. So it was at the zero. Okay. Then the piston was going in the downward direction. That's why you got a minus or negative velocity over here. So up to minus two sixty five. This is the value that I got for the velocity when the piston is moving in the downward direction. Okay. Now at this particular moment, my piston is reaches at the PDC, and now it is started traveling in the upward direction towards the PDC. Okay. Now you can see that I have a positive displacement over here. So it will crosses this particular uh, position. This is at the zero location. Now it has been crossed for this particular location, and now it is going or it has gone beyond this positive. It is going in the upward direction. So in the positive direction, I got. 265 okay now the y velocity is i mean symmetric why you have got a sinusoidal because whatever the rotation we have provided okay that was a i mean uh, linear it is there not linear in the sense i mean we have given a rotary okay but the graph was in the linear manner there is no change in that there is no change in the uh, speed or something like that so that's why we have got a uh, normal velocity that this sinusoidal wave is there okay now <clears throat> you will say like okay what we can figure out from this particular thing okay so generally what we are doing is we are doing a simple calculation now you know how to calculate the uh, velocities how to calculate the, uh, like, uh, the what is acceleration and all that are there so how to do that uh, 
uh, theoretical calculation that you know it very well. Okay, so generally we do the validation. Okay, we cannot directly rely on the software. So generally we get answers from the software. Okay, whatever we got over here, and what we do is we just validate those results with the help of the theoretical calculation. And honestly, I'll tell you that if you have done everything correctly if you have given a proper inputs to this particular thing whatever the results you got for the theoretical and whatever the results you got from the uh, software itself all the values with the values that will be same okay? you will get a same accurate values okay? so this is the power of thing uh, and one more thing that we can figure out from this particular that at what time duration your piston is reaching at the PDC at what time duration your piston is reaching at the PDC so directly you can figure out from this also I mean from the graphical representation also okay or you can go for the Excel file okay so there is an option called as the export CSV okay so there you can go for the uh, you can open this particular results in the Excel format and there you can justify the results it's like, Okay, at what time you have got this velocity, at what time you have got this velocity. So this will be very important for you to design your own product, right? I hope this was clear for you. This was the simple example that I have given. I have uh, not provided any image because that is going to take so much time and not the time factor, but the main thing is that all of you know all the meetings, how to provide the meetings and all that. So that's the reason why I have directly started. I have just given you the uh, introduction to that particular different types of mates. Okay. Uh, the mates, actually there are three types of mates. Uh, just we left that particular conversation. So I'll just show you what are those different mates. Because I directly started with advanced mate and uh, assembly mates, uh, sorry, mechanical mates. So under the advanced mate, you can find the different mates which are useful for the motion analysis. So to make your model or to make your product working or movable, these are advan advanced mates that are very helpful for you. And this mechanical mates, these are also very important. So the cam mating, slot mating, gear mating, it is there, screw mating, it is there. Okay. So by using these mates, you can perform any type of uh, movement. Okay, you can provide any type of movement for your parts. Okay. So all of you are clear with all the things because this is the skill that we are expecting. Okay. Generally, now you have heard about all these things that mechanical engineers don't have a job. Okay. Mechanical engineers don't get a good salary, they are getting a salary of 10,000, 8,000, something like that. So, you are saying you might have heard from your friends, okay? But in actual practice, see, from last nine years, I'm in mean, touch, I'm in mean, working in the industries, and even in recent last two, three years, I'm very much active in this particular field. So, we are discussing, I am taking so many interviews, okay? Uh, I'm in discussion with the various technical experts, okay, various experts from the different industries, okay. So generally when we are meeting at that time, we are, we are especially discuss on this particular thing is like, um, what is the recent things and what is the recent conditions for the mechanical engineers, okay. And there is a discussion and in that every time the answer is the same that the mechanical has so many opportunities if anyone says you that mechanical engineer don't have a future say them no okay. there is so much future for the mechanical engineer but we are not getting that much qualities okay in the mechanical engineers so you have to develop your own skills right we are finding out for the, those particular skills so we are finding out the person we are finding out the student okay who is capable of explaining himself why he is very important for my how he will be beneficial for my uh, industry or whatever my company it is there so how is going to be very important, important for how is going to make a profit for me okay see if you have a skill okay now i know you have have a skills in that but you have to improve those particular things because 
there was a certain time where if you know the SOLIDWORKS software, if you know the AutoCAD software, yes, you are very well, you are welcome, you are on board, okay. But now the situation has been changed, okay. Now, you have many, so many sources from that you can learn all this particular thing, but this very important skill which we are looking for, okay. So, those are missing from uh, all of the candidates who are coming for the interview. So you need to develop that particular thing. Okay, you have learned the SOLIDWORKS things. Okay, that will be very important. But you have to search on that also. Even at this stage also, we are doing the same thing. Generally, at the night time, daily for two hours, and I am researching on all, all the things. What are the recent trends? Okay, what new things? What I can learn from that? So generally, I have dedicated from eleven to one. This is the time that I have already dedicated. Okay, so every day. I am doing all, all these things, I am learning new things, okay, so that I am updating my knowledge, I am updating my skills, so same thing you have to do it for, uh, uh, I mean from the US side also, okay, so if you are have a good skills and if you are uh, successful in explaining why you are very important for me and how much, so see, a very simple thing, in just a one line I will be explaining you, and then we will move on to the next part. Okay. Actually, I love to uh, guide uh, all of you for the career point of view. Okay. Uh, <coughs> that's why I'm uh, telling you all this. Yes, things. sir. I want to yes, interrupt sir. you for one minute. Can yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. So, good afternoon, everybody. Myself, Kunam Chaudhary from Cat Center, Thane, Airoli branch. Uh, students, are you able to hear me? I need a response from your end. Is my voice audible to you all? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, okay. ma so, yes, a little ma bit we are trying to give you actual orientation in the software. Okay. Now, why we are doing all these things? We know that how much percentage of growth in every year, every design engineer is growing. Okay. As you people are suffering with the pandemic, we are also with you. But we want to share one percentage growth with you. Drafting jobs are expected to grow 13% by 2020, okay, and even CAD jobs also. So, don't uh, think that mechanical engineers are not having job in industry. We are having good tie-ups with design companies with us, okay, and we are there to help you out. With your college authorities help, we are signing a MOU with your college for mechanical branch specially. We will be just disclosing all the things very soon with you by college authorities' permission. First, you try to take as much as knowledge from my technical head trainer. Please ask some questions from your end. I think many crowd has completed SOLIDWORKS till now. Is it so? Yes, students? Be interactive. This is the first step for your employment. We will be bring, bringing the mechanical companies in your campus or virtual placements can be done with us. We need a response from your end. Students, can I get some response from your end? Yes, anybody? I'm not able to hear you. You are audible now. Yeah, actually uh, we need some response from student side, sir. You can also convey them. Okay, because as we will be working hard for the placement part. Yes, sure, ma'am. Yeah. You can please continue, sir. We will have a connection afterwards again. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so <coughs> I'll just finish uh, that particular statement which I was discussing. Uh, now I'll just use a different language other than uh, I mean I'll just use the Hindi language because. Uh, this is the statement which I got from uh, one of my industry expert, one of my uh, friend who is an uh, expert in the uh, field of the uh, plant design and piping. Okay. So generally he says that mechanical engineers ko job milega. Okay. See, if you expected 20,000 or 25,000, aapke paas aisa skill hona chahiye 
या फिर आप जब भी आप इंटरव्यू में आओगे एट दैट टाइम यू हैव दैट पर्टिकुलर स्किल एंड आप एक्सप्लेन मुझे करो दैट आप कंपनी का थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड या फोर्टी थाउजेंड का अगर पर मंथ अगर आप प्रॉफिट करके दे सकते हो अगर आप थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड का जो वर्क है मतलब जो मुझे हेल्पफुल रहेगा इफ़ यू आर डूइंग दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग आई बी वेरी हैप्पी अगर थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड भी आप अगर मुझे देते हो सपोज प्रॉफिट ओके देन आई बी हैप्पी पेइंग यू ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड बिकॉज सी यू आर ऑल्सो वेरी हैप्पी बिकॉज यू गॉट ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इन दैट ओके एंड आई गॉट अ ट्वेंटी टेन थाउजेंड प्रॉफिट सो वॉट एवर द अमाउंट आई हैव इन्वेस्टेड इन यू ओके आई विल से येस आई गॉट अ रिटर्न फॉर दैट ओके सो दिस इज द मेन थिंग दैट वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग ओके जनरली आप लोग अभी तक मतलब एक्चुअली आर नॉट अपियर फॉर द इंटरव्यूज एंड ऑल दैट ओके सो generally i discussed with some of the students so who is appeared for the interview so you, i used to ask them so is like just you are doing for the viva you know so once you appeared for the viva once he come back okay you are used to ask him you are kya puch raha kya puch raha sir so generally same thing we are discussing with my students that what they have asked you in the uh, interviews okay or generally i also used to ask so Generally, the the first question it is there very tough question. Introduce about yourself. That is a very tough question. Okay, and the second tough question we are asking to our students or whatever the candidate is there. What is your experience? Okay, now when the student who is fresher, so generally he thinks that what he is asking, I am a fresher. What experience I should be having? Okay, so yes, I am asking about the. experience not working in any of the industry for last 2 years or 3 years okay but i am asking for the experience what projects you have done okay what task you have done okay i have i have done so many projects in that okay i have so done so and so projects so i want that particular thing okay so you need to develop the skills okay and to be honestly we will be help you to develop all those things all the skills that it will be required for you okay and i'll sure tell you that once you gain all the skills surely you will get a good job with a good salary okay these are my words okay i'll just show you a simple uh, things what our student has done okay some of the projects are at the industry level also those are actual live industry projects i'll share all the things with you and then later on i'll just start it with them uh the katia part the automotive part, okay? okay just the uh, animation okay this is one of the animation that uh our one of our student worked then this is a hydraulic pump okay this there was a requirement from the one of the industries that we need to develop this particular 3d model in detail okay so according to their general arrangement diagram so there are general arrangement diagrams they are giving you okay and from that particular general arrangement diagram what you need to do is you need to develop the, this particular product okay now what my student has actually done i have given one in the gym and i ask him to figure out what are the different parts available in that okay okay included in that just try to figure out how to find out the dimensions how to do the design for that and then you just develop this particular 3d model and accordingly he has done this and this is the result in front of you to show you the animation so this is a exploded view that we are expecting generally and so these are the different parts are using that he has assembled all the things this is the exploded view and this is the collapse view that is also very important so it's like this is very important when uh i can explain you like how to dismantle all the things and then how to assemble all the things okay? so by just by looking at the video you will be understand that okay? this is one of the thing uh the air conditioner indoor unit it is there So again, you can see that the level of detailing you can see it over here. Okay, this is the decanter centrifuge. This was the requirement again from the industry. Okay, 
so again the general arrangement diagram it was then from that my student okay he has done this particular thing right he has developed this particular model right this is one of the very important a very interesting thing you can see that there is a realistic look okay actually this is a rendering part the model again the same thing general arrangement diagram was there accordingly we have generated all the parts okay sir, the slides are not changing sir uh slides are not changing okay just a minute huh? Okay, now is it visible? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, uh, this was the decanter set. Ah, uh, this I was talking about this one. Yeah, this is the decanter set. If you understand, we are we are ready to discuss. Uh, this was the pump CHL two hyphen twenty. This is the name of the model. Okay. Again, we need to develop the three D model. Again, that was in the detail. Okay. So. my intern or my student was there so he has done this particular project okay and this is the rendering part he has done the rendering it gives a realistic look okay it took around 4 hours to do the complete rendering and that's this is the result of the 4 hours rendering okay then this is one of the simple thing the hand drill it is there okay, again this is a rendering part you can say okay uh this is again uh this is a uh, industrial as it uh, this one <clears throat> then the next one this is one this one is uh, plate and frame heat exchanger okay this is also very important in the process design plant designing and all that this is very important part the plate and frame heat exchanger right <coughs> sorry this is a conceptual design okay i'll just tell you the story behind this uh, whatever the decanter that i have seen in this particular thing okay this was the uh, I mean, this is a large model. Generally, it is in meters. Okay, I think uh, this uh, dimension is something around three meters or something like that. And this one is, I think, two meters or something. I I I remember. I don't remember the dimensions. But actually, this is very huge. Okay, sometimes the size of the decanter is that much huge that whenever you are collecting the slurry, whatever the solid part it is, the waste part it is, that you want to collect it over here. Okay. at that time you can park your truck under that particular okay so that you can it can directly collect all the uh, solid particles whatever the waste particle it is then and then you can carry it away okay so that is the huge thing okay now industries require this particular thing but they cannot afford this particular setup because first thing that is a size issues this is very huge the second thing that is the cost issue and the third one that is the electricity consumption issue okay so that was a problem that we have identified and this was the model that we have generated okay this is the conceptual design we have created a smaller version of that particular object okay this will be somewhere around near by 1 meter which is in length okay and uh, this is a compact size okay you can put it for any small scale industries okay the costing again it will be very less and the next that whatever the reduction uh, whatever there is the reduction in the electricity generally uh the last type of decanter it requires a 40 kilowatt uh this requires only 4 kilowatt so almost 10 times of energy consumptions we have reduced over here okay so this type of things again we can uh do it when we learn all these skills okay so that's it uh, these are the different things that i want to show it from the uh, solid works software itself i'll just quickly show you the uh, things from the cate also because i already told you that we will be discussing about the automotive industry also okay so far is there any doubts If you have any queries related to the software, related to your career, you can put it in the chat box. Okay, I'll be happy to uh, help you out in that.
Yes, is there any queries? Um, yes, uh, thank you, sir, for sharing such valuable knowledge with us. I would like to ask participants whether they have any doubts. Please write it down in the chat box or else you can unmute yourself and speak it up. No queries. Yes, well, you can talk. Ma'am said that this is the very first step. Okay. So we can talk and discuss all the things. Okay, I think I should start with the next part. Will it be fine? Okay, I got a question from the Ashitosh. Sir, is having knowledge of multiple software helpful or it creates a confusion because of the difference? Uh, no, actually, because see, uh, now one question it is there is like what multiple softwares you are talking because right now, uh, if you are talking about the 3D modeling software, okay. So you consider any of the software, like if it is SolidWorks, if it is CATIA, okay. Now I'll just tell you that if you know SolidWorks and if you know the CATIA software, okay. <coughs> Sorry. Now with the help of, see, both the things are from the part design itself. So, sorry, uh, 3D modeling itself, okay. So you will find all the things will be same. Okay, the user interface it will be different and application little bit it will be different okay so with the help of knowledge of the solid works you are open to product design industry so if there is any requirement from the product design let's say if there is any machineries and all that okay so right now we have started this particular thing in the plant design itself so there also if you have a vacancy if they ask for this particular thing you can apply from there okay also Sometimes it happens, sometimes then product design also we use the CATIA software or in automotive also in the engine parts and all that we use the CATIA software. Now you know both the things, no? you know the SOLIDWORKS, you know the, you know the CATIA software. So there again you can apply for that particular also. So that will be very, very helpful for you. It won't create a confusion. Okay? You learn all these things one by one. Okay, so if you want to start learning the SOLIDWORKS, gain the knowledge in the SOLIDWORKS, okay, do a good practice in that, okay, and then you start working on the CATIA. So there you just gain the knowledge in CATIA also, okay, so it won't create any confusion, okay, that will be very helpful, right. I got a question from Nikhil also, uh, okay, uh, Ashutosh, uh, was that helpful for you? Uh, you need some more okay fine thank you okay i got a question from the nickel that sir is fighting a course with a scope currently for the mechanical engineer beneficial a good job yes uh the piping design is also having a good scope okay in india uh yes we can say the moderate it is there but if you talk about the other countries most probably when you talk about the middle east and all that there are so many opportunities that are available right now but the only thing is that you should have a good knowledge in that okay right now we are working on that also so here there are so many uh, requirements are there for the piping engineers okay piping design itself so again that will be very helpful for you this is something different you can see okay? it will be a beneficial for the job but the only thing is that you get a, you gain a good knowledge in that or in all the perspective in theoretical also and also in the software point of view but there you just decide is like what track do you want to uh, consider there are two tracks the modeling part it is there where we use the pdms software sp3d software okay? Either you go into that particular thing or you go into the analysis part where we use the scissor software. Okay? So there you can decide like in which stream you want to learn. Okay. So 
Yes, Nikhil. Yes. Nikhil. Yes. Is there any questions? I got good two questions from these students. Thank you so much. Okay. <coughs> so fine. So should I uh, shall I move to the next one? That is the uh, Katia part, automotive part. I'm just uh, again explaining all the things in very shortly. Okay. Again, I'll just show you simple animations and all that. There, what results? We will be discussing all this thing. Okay. So I'll share my screen. So. Okay, uh, is my screen visible? Can you see the Katia user interface? Yes. Uh, just give me a confirmation. Just give me a confirmation whether the screen is visible or not because I was facing a little bit issue. Yes, sir, it is visible. Yeah, thank you. Okay, fine. So I'll just uh, give you just quick introduction about this particular software. Okay, and then just I'll explain you what are the different things. Now this is the Catia software. Okay, which is uh, developed by a company called as a Deso System. Okay, now this Deso System is associated with the company. Which is manufacturing the aircraft that is the Rafael. Okay. Now, uh, <coughs> this is a dedicated uh, software used in the automobile shop, automobile thing, because this is very powerful tool which is used in the automotive industries. The reason behind this particular thing, because this software was designed, uh, I was actually it was invented to design the aircrafts. Okay, so that's the reason why this will be very helpful in the automotive section also. Okay. Now, if you tell you the scenario is like, okay, that I will discuss in the last one. Okay, what skills you should have with the CATI and then what is the salaries and all that. So that I will discuss in the last one. Okay, so now again, this is a 3D modeling type of thing. So like SolidWorks, like a Creo, this is also used for the solid modeling purpose. Now, when we learn in this particular thing, when we learn this particular software again, the knowledge is again limited to a sketching it limits to a part design it limits to a assembly design okay it limits to certain things only okay but there are so many things which will be available with the Katia software now when you want to design any car in that when you want to design any car bodies and in that this will be very helpful this will be very interesting software because there is a uh, module which is called like the surfacing which is very uh, but I can say very advanced okay, as compared to the other software. So generally we used to talk like this, like the level of the surfacing from Katia, the surfacing ka level of Katia we consider there is software ka reach nahi hai, and that's very true okay, because this is very advanced software. Okay, So I'll share one of the things and then again I just uh, discuss with the plot. I'll be directly showing you the animation or we can have a simple example from the uh, engine also okay, the same engine we will be considered okay so that will be very helpful for you okay now uh, <coughs> i 
as I said earlier that what skills now you should have with a CATIA. Okay. The very first thing, obviously, that card design and everything, it has to be there, assembling and all that is to has to be there. But that surfacing and advanced surfacing, okay, that is one of the skills that you should have in this. Okay. That is very important because we want to because see the car designing and the aircraft generally when i talk about the aircraft design so aircraft design this is completely dependent on the shape okay complete dependent on the shape generally what is the procedure in the design you know see whenever i am designing any aircraft so there is no definite rule for that okay generally we are doing it on the trial and error basis whatever the shape of the aircraft it is there okay and what we used to do is we used to calculate the aerodynamics for that okay now depending on the aerodynamics that part i will discuss in the tomorrow session how to generate the results and what uh, predictions you can do it from that okay so generally based on those results what we used to do is whether we are deciding whether this shape is enough for us or we want to do some modification so again if i need some modification i can do it in that okay now that particular shape of that particular where uh, whatever the aeroplane it is there or whatever that car it is there for that require the advanced surfacing it is there so that is the main skill that we are seeking for any automobile engineer or whatever this mechanical engineer who want to who willing to do the career in the automotive industry that is the first thing second thing that we are expecting that again a motion analysis so whatever the motion analysis that we have seen in the solid works okay the same type of thing we can do it in the CATIA also okay but now there will be a question in your mind that in SOLIDWORKS we can do it in the easier way we can do it in that simple way what is the difference between the SOLIDWORKS and the CATIA kinematics or CATIA motion it is there okay so I'll tell you in SOLIDWORKS we have a directly mates over there right so that gear mating it was there width mating it was there screw mating all the mechanical mates it will be there okay but in CATIA there are 17 types of joints whatever the joints you learn in the cat kinematics part so kinematics of machinery you have already studied you know? at that time we have discussed with the mechanism there we have uh, studied the concept of the pair okay pair and the joint because that time the joint was different binary joint ternary joints quaternary joint but that was something different but that pair helical that uh, revolute type of pair prismatic type of pair screw type of pair you know cylindrical type of pair so those pair and these joints are same okay so there are total 17 types of joints by providing those joints you can do a simulation okay now if i show you this example there i have used the different types of joints over here so i'll show you the list of joints the revolute joint it is there that i have provided between these two should i show you the animation i mean should i show you like how we have done this particular thing so you can understand this uh, it will it will be uh, easy and easily understand for you okay fine uh, we'll do it quickly i have deleted everything okay now i'll be starting all the things right from i mean I, I will do it from right from the scratch okay first i need to fix any part because there has to be a, any ground part on which my assembly has to be mounted okay so i just uh, i'll just give the name mechanism one and keep it as it is i want to make this part as a fixed okay so i have make made this one as a fixed then what I need to do is I need to provide a revolute joint between these two. Just one minute, I think. The wrong thing. To give it to this one because this is going to rotate. Okay. Okay, this is fixed right now. Then I need to give a revolute joint between these two. This particular shaft and this particular bearing has to be there. So revolute joint it is there. We need axis and the faces. Okay. And for the commands, I mean, uh, for the uh, movement of this particular joint, I need a command. So for revolute type of joint, the 
angle driven command it is there. Okay, so I have given all this command. Okay, fine. So I have given a revolute joint over here. Then I need to provide a revolute joint between these two. Okay. So we'll do it. That I have done it. Um, then uh, we will provide a revolute joint between this pin and this connecting rod. Okay. I have still two degrees of freedom, so that will be fine for me. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll provide a cylindrical support between these two because this is going to move in the forward direction and backward, but to in fro motion it will be there. So I have a cylindrical joint. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll provide a rigid between these two. See, okay, what I have done this part was fixed. Okay, I have provided a revolute joint so that it can revolve. I mean, the root angle of rotation it will be there between these two. Then this crank and this one has to be rotated. The pin and this one has to be rooted. The piston is moving up and down, so that's why the cylindrical joint it is there. And along with this pin, this pin piston is going to move, so that's why I have given a rigid joint here. Okay. Now it is saying me that the degrees of freedoms are zero over here. Okay. Now we'll try to simulate this. We'll try to figure out whether we got a, a proper animation or whatever the proper simulation or not. So I'll go for the simulation. Uh, I'll give two revolutions. That is, the so total two revolutions means total it is seven twenty degrees. So I'll say okay. Yes. Is it working? So I'll insert this particular thing, and then we'll see the animation. Right? Is that clear? This one. How I have provided a different types of joints. Initially, when I have deleted all the things, nothing was there. Okay, even nothing was under the application. Not a single joint it was there. But by providing the appropriate type of joints, what I have done is I have made this particular mechanism to work smoothly. Okay, so this is the thing that we are expecting that we are going to do in that. So basically, the motion analysis is there. So there we are learning this 17 types of joints, how to provide the 17 types of joints. So that will clear the concepts of joints. You are not, uh, I mean, this will be very helpful, all the degrees of freedoms and all that, whatever the concepts we have learned in the background, that in the first year to whatever in the second year. So that will be very clear for you. Okay. And there won't be any issue while doing all these things. You will be remember all these concepts forever. Okay, so that we are doing it over here. Okay, then the next thing that is the next one, uh, you can do the animations. Okay, then uh, here we have a uh, different things like the path tracing and the swept volume. It is there. So generally, these applications why we are doing it so. So whenever we are doing any uh, or whenever we are designing any casings and all that. Okay, so at that time this will be very helpful. So this is again very important skill that again we are seeking. Okay, the software, the CATIA software, okay, that will be very fine for me. Okay, but apart from that, these are the different skills that we are seeking in this. Okay, so this is apart, I mean, along with the advanced surfacing on that. This is the thing that 
we are doing it in the automotive industry so generally we are develop anything whatever the engine assembly it is there or there are different parts available in that so generally we are making a assembly in the catia so the stationary assemblies okay so along with that stationary assemblies i want to make those assemblies movable okay so we used to provide all these 17 types of tools whatever required it is then okay and then we'll do the animation we suggest find out figure out the interferences and all that from that okay then if there is any clashings and all that so that we are going to predict okay and uh, the path pressing of path swept volume okay and the main thing whatever we have seen in the solidworks also that generation of the results the linear acceleration the linear velocity angular velocity so whatever the results you are expecting that particular okay so that you can find out for, by using the solid uh, this one catia kinematics it is there okay so this is also very important skill for you okay and one more recent trend that is from the catia itself so that again i want to discuss i just uh, discuss that particular thing in the uh, theoretical part okay that is called the reverse engineering so that is one of the uh, important techniques now we are seeking for that okay now generally when we talk about the reverse engineering so simple picture it will be comes in your mind that whatever the ready product it is there so what we are going to do is we are taking that particular ready product okay we are dismantling that particular thing we are i am telling it in a simple way then i am explaining in the technical way also okay so generally we are dismantling that we'll take all the parts we'll measure that according to that we will generate the drawings okay and then we will develop the same model it is there okay so that is a simple process for the reverse engineering okay that picture comes in your mind and that is very right okay the same thing we generally prefer prefers for that because what happens you know what i am telling you what is the scenario in the industries okay, in the indian industries right now okay the drawings see if you observe there are so many manufacturing plants available in the india okay but for that whatever the drawings whatever the design which are required that comes from the european countries okay from germany or uk or whatever it is there so design departments are there so generally they are doing their design and in manufacturing in india it is very easy and it is cost effective so that's why they are focusing i mean they have uh, set up the plants over here so the drawings they comes from the european country okay now the product is available in the indian market but the drawings are not available in the, in the indian market okay so if i want to manufacture that particular thing if i want to develop the similar kind of product this reverse engineering is going to help me with that okay so conventional way was what we are taking that particular product now one thing again i'll, I'll tell you uh, in between this if you consider any of the industries is like automotive industries no fiat maruti and whatever uh, companies are there so they have their reverse engineering department in their companies okay what they are doing in that suppose any of the company let's say maruti company it is there and honda it is there so honda has launched a new car suppose okay so generally what maruti will do they will purchase that particular model they will taken that particular model into that reverse engineering department and then by dismantling cutting and all that all the operations it will be there and they are trying to study what new they have invented in that okay so that is again a reverse engineering type of thing okay so this was the conventional method but now we have changed the uh, complete thing so so they have now completely changed the things now we have started uh, making a use of technology now what technology we are using in that you heard about the 3d printing we have seen you got a experiment in the cad camp last year seventh semester there is a rapid prototyping so there you have that particular experiment we are doing the 3d printing so likewise we have a 3d scanning okay so generally suppose this is the part suppose okay so what i'll do is i will scan this particular part by using a 3d scanner and then i will generate a data in terms of the cloud points okay 
Now, whatever the data which I got in the terms of the cloud points, I'll show you that cloud points. Okay, I have that example. I'll just show it to you. Just a minute. Uh, now this is the car mirror. Okay, what I have we have done is we have uh, scanned that particular car mirror. Okay, and we have generated the uh, cloud data. So you can see that this is the cloud data that we have generated. See. Okay, now if I say apply, then okay, you can see this is the cloud data in the terms of the points. You can uh, change the intensity. Okay, okay, whatever the points uh, intensity it will be there. You can increase or you can decrease all these things. Okay, then we will convert. We will clean all these things. We will convert this into the surface, and then we will convert this into the part. Okay, so this is the technology now we have invented that 3D scanning. Okay, I generate or import the cloud data in the software, do the cleaning parts and all that. Generate the surfaces accordingly. Generate the curves and all that. And then just generate the final product. Okay, so this is the technology that again we have invented, and this is again technology which will be adopted by the Indian industries in coming years. Okay, so again there are so many advanced skills that you should have. Okay, and that we are seeking from a mechanical engineer. Okay, so you can deal with all these things. You can, if you want to gain all this knowledge, we are dealing with all these things. So. If you want to learn all these things, we can help you out in that. Okay, so this is the overall scenario for the both the softwares and the both the industries that I want to show you. Uh, this one I kept it very simple, okay, because uh, I want to show you some demonstration and all that. Okay, so that's the reason why I kept it very simple. Now coming back to the uh, opportunities for the mechanical engineer and job scenarios. Okay. Salaries and all that. So, if you have a good skills, that is a condition that I put it in the bracket. That is mandatory. Job opportunities are very good. More in Pune side. Okay, there are there is a huge in automobile hub. So, there you can get a good job over there. Even in Mekar, even in Mumbai also, we have a good industries. Uh, most probably in the south, uh, south Bombay. South Mumbai, okay. They are dealing with uh, tires and all that. So there are so many industries. They are working on the CATIA software. So there, you can try your uh, try for your career. Okay. Uh, again, if you have a good skills, then uh, the salary expectation you will get a starting range of twenty thousand, twenty five thousand. Again, depending on your skills. Okay. So you can see that now. I think it will be very uh, clear for you that some of your friends are saying maybe they are saying that there are no jobs for the mechanical engineer. But after this seminar, you I mean you have that uh, clue that mechanical engineers are also getting a good job with a twenty, twenty-five, thirty thousand salary. Okay, but whatever the requirement it is there, so that I have right now I have explained. Okay, so this is the overall scenario. The three D modeling field, vast field, it is there. There are huge requirements for the mechanical engineers, not only in the India but outside also. Some of the countries like USA, Canada, Australia, there are lots of requirements are there. But the only thing is that you should have a good skills in this, right? I think I have cleared uh, so many things from the product design and automotive industries, right? So, if you have any queries from all these things, you can discuss with me.
whatever that analysis and then trend, whatever the recent trends in the automotive, so that we are going to discuss in the tomorrow session. So if you have any queries from this particular, you can talk and ask. Great, sir. Uh, I'm sure that everyone has got a brief introduction about product design and automotive industry and brief uh, introductory knowledge about software like Katia and uh, SolidWorks. Uh, we got to know about motion analysis and by using SolidWorks and also the model that how to validate the result type of method oh, oh, and also the model. difference between SolidWorks and Katia. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sally, for the talk. We would. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. We would again like to thank Vivek sir and Bhagesh sir for taking time out for us from your busy schedule and making this session memorable for everyone involved. In this way, third session of this program has come to a conclusion. Make sure that you do join us for the next session, which will be starting at 2 p.m., wherein Mr. Nagendra Singh sir will be talking about current trend in brushless DC motors used in automotive industry. All our requests to join the same Gmail link five minutes prior to start of next session. Thank you all. Thank you. Participants are requested to fill the feedback form before leaving the meet.